Welcome back in the risk for some spring thunderstorms is increasing tomorrow and there's an alert day in effect 24 hours from now. Here's how it's going to pan out. The middle of the day Tuesday is going to be very similar to what today has brought those cloudy skies and a cool east breeze. It is in the afternoon and the early evening that the storm threats going to ramp up between 3 to 8 p.m. You will want to be weather alert and be checking that WTOL 11 weather app. There is the risk for some strong winds, large hail and even a brief tornado possible south of the Toledo. Metro. Here is where the severe risk is greatest right across the heart of the Buckeye State. That red color shows you a level four out of five severe risk. There's going to be a pretty sharp cutoff with this one. Southern Michigan not going to have a whole lot of severe weather worries, but south of the state line and especially south of the Maumee River, that is where the risk will be the greatest. Those of you that live in Crawford, Wyandotte counties up towards southern Seneca County and southern Hancock County, that is where the greatest risk for hail and perhaps even a brief tornado may be possible. Possible. We are high and dry right now. We have several hours of dry weather, so enjoy those dinner plans worry free. There are some spring showers and a few garden variety thunderstorms crossing over between Illinois and Indiana, and those are going to arrive in our neck of the woods later this evening. By midnight, the rain's going to start to pick up. Could hear a boom of thunder, but nothing strong or severe overnight tonight. It is going to be another rainy night, just like it was last night, and there could be some localized ponding, mud, and flooding. Now, here's that dry slot that briefly dry dries us out. This will provide a bit of instability and fuel for thunderstorms. And after 3 p.m., there's those severe storms that could produce large hail and perhaps even a spin up tornado. Here are the risks that we're looking at for your Tuesday alert day. Of course, heavy rain and gusty winds are always possible, but this is a very uniquely large hail set up, especially south of Toledo. As far as the tornado risk goes, it'll be something we'll keep an incredibly close eye upon. We don't want to scare you or hype up the tornado risk, but it's certainly possible and it's certainly something you should prepare for as well. Here's how much rain we're going to get. Soaking downpours could inundate with two to three inches of additional rainfall. Now, thankfully, we have had today to dry things out, but there could still be some localized flooding concerns to the south. A big change in the weather comes. This alert day is going to be associated with a strong cold front, and that front's going to drop us to the 40s with showers and a few flurries possible. Lingering showers are possible as well, but we are expecting to dry things out for the big day just one week away from the total solar eclipse. And we are looking partly cloudy and totally dry, at least as of now. A big early April warm up is on tap with milder than normal conditions. And there's that eclipse day now just seven days away, 64 degrees, partly sunny skies and a dry day for that once in a lifetime solar spectacle.